So the life cycle of Diferidium caninum, as usual, the type of the life cycle is indirect. The final host is dog, cat, fox, occasionally human. And this parasite is located in small intestine. The intermediate host for this parasite is different flea and lice. That is, uh, the, and these uh, parasites are found in the body coat of the dog. And the infective stage is the cysticercoid. Time required for the completion of this life cycle is around uh, three to four weeks. So this parasite is located or live in a small intestine of the final host and produces gravid proglotid. These gravid proglotid are detached and they either migrate to the anus or voided out through the feces. Each proglotid contain around 20 eggs and circle by an embryonic membrane which is also known as a capsule, egg sac, or egg packets. Later, larval stages of the flea, so the larval stages of this flea infected after ingestion of this egg containing hexacanth embryo. In flea and lice, cysts are quite developed in their body cavity within few months and and then dog and cat infected after ingesting flea or lice having cystic sarcoid men particularly the children infected by an accidental ingestion of flea or lice while playing with them afterwards cysticercoids are released in the intestine so uh, released in the intestine of the final host and a mature parasite developed from that cysticercoid so some of the important things you should remember the larval stages of the flea will be infected by the ingestion of the eggs not by the adult flea directly it is due to the differences in the mouth part of the larva and the adult flea. The larval mouth part is twin type whereas the adult mouth part is piercing type. But the thing is once the infection is acquired by this larval stages upon its molting to pupa and an adult the development of cysticercoid will be continued. Another important thing uh, that is the warm temperature helps in the development of the cysticercoid. As louse are permanently ectoparasite, that is, it remains in the host body throughout its life, get the warm temperature and cysticercoid develops within a month. But in case of the flea, the development of cysticercoid takes uh, several months. Uh, so in, in flea, it takes longer period of time because larva and the pupa will be found on the ground with variable temperature. So once again, the life cycle of Diphalidium caninum infection. The final host is the dog, cat, and the man. Man is the accidental host. And the parasite live in their predilection site, that is in the small intestine, and they produce gravid proglotid. This gravid proglotid either may pass out through the feces or they may remain on the perineal region. So the gravid proglotid that uh, are with the feces they are disintegrated to release the eggs to the environment and afterwards the larval stages of the flea and the lice they actually ingest or acquiring 
uh, the infection after having these eggs and afterwards the development of the cysticercoid will be uh, continued in the larval state followed by the pupa and the adult stage that is the adult flea and dog and cat or the man uh, will be infected after ingestion of this flea accidentally and in there uh, uh, afterwards this cysticercoid will be released in the small intestine of this final host and from that cysticercoid a mature parasite will be developed and will start producing gravid proglotid. So these are the reference books that I have used um, during preparing this presentation and I have also used uh, some video and internet material images from internet and thank you all for watching this video.